hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another tutorial on Arduino so we had a lot of tutorials on Arduino for uh, beginners so this is the continuation of that so what we will do in this tutorial is we'll be talking about an Arduino tutorial on using servo motor so uh, this will be like a servo motor project so some of the example like what we can use servo motor is like uh, for an automatic door opening or closing system where you can use servo motor and along with that you can use a PR sensor or, or IR sensor or ultrasonic so different combination you can have a light LED or a uh, combination with that so when you uh, control the servo motor when some uh, motion is detected so what we will do in this tutorial will be like we'll use a PR sensor and an LED and you know we have a servo motor so we'll see how we can control the servo motor when we find a de uh, motion detected by the PR sensor so that will be overall uh, thing but we'll be doing the complete step by step you know the circuit and also the writing the code for this program okay so before i get into the actual uh, demo on that so i would like you to subscribe my channel if you have not done so or if you are new to my channel and also i would request you to like my videos share and comment so let's get started so i'm going to use tinkercad for this uh, circuit diagram and writing the code so you can show you like how we can do the complete circuit and uh, running the code so what we need is we need an arduino so we'll start with an Arduino board then now uh, we need a breadboard to connect uh, the our devices and also we need uh, an LED and we need a resistor for 220 ohm and also we need a PR sensor and a servo motor so let me take a servo motor and we need a PR sensor so these are the components we needed for uh, this whole uh, project so you can see like uh, the servo motor have ground uh, power and also signal and uh, same way like uh, a PR sensor also have a signal power and ground then LEDs so we'll make this uh, connection so to uh, reduce this time consuming for the whole project let me go to the uh, completed circuit and I will explain you how uh, the connections are done now if you look into this uh, circuit so how we did the connection is like you know you have uh, uh, PR sensor okay and you can see the PR sensor uh, the signal is going to the pin number 13 okay you can use any pins but I'm connecting to PR th uh, pin number 13 okay and this uh, uh, power is going to 5 volt and also ground is going to the ground and the servo motor and I'm going to the, use the signal pin to pin number 9 again I know you can use any pin but we have to define that in the code and the power and the signal is going to the uh, power and ground is going to the 5 volt and ground and LED uh, we are connecting the anode to pin number 12 and the cathode uh, to the ground using a resistor of 220 ohm and you can see this uh, 5 volt and ground is coming from here so it's a pretty simple uh, circuit okay so uh, now what we need is like when there is a motion detected uh, in the PR the uh, servo motor has to move uh, you know uh, to the 180 degrees and it has to uh, con we have to control the movement of uh, the servo motor right so that's the agenda like if you have seen one of my previous tutorial I'll show you how to control servo motor uh, using uh, the code right so now let's start writing the code so the first thing what we need is we need to include the library for servo motor so you need to use hash include servo dot h and the next thing is like you need to initialize the servo motor so you use uh, servo and this name can be anything it doesn't mean like you need to have my servo you can call ABCD or anything but this will be the initialization so then you will have to make use of that into the remaining part of your code and I'm going to set some uh, variables so you can see I'm going to use LED pin as 12 and uh, pin, uh, PR pin as 13 and uh, I'm going to set a variable as PR stat as zero and the integer uh, as POS as zero. Okay, so these names again you can give any uh, name, but you know you have to use that based on that in the code. Okay, so let's uh, this is the way. Like if you use the different pin numbers, uh, please change it based on that. Now let's talk about the void setup part. So you can you know like in the void setup we will define the pin. So LED pin is going to be an output and PR pin is going to be an input 
and you know we need to inform that uh, servo motor is connected to the pin number 9 so you need to use my server dot attach so this my server is coming from this initialization if you have given a different name you have to change it based on here as well and the pin number 9 if you are using a different pin you have to change that as well and I'm going to also you're going to use serial begin so it's not mandatory but if you want you can use it if you just want to output uh, something on the serial monitor and now you have to put um, you know my server write dot pos because I want to keep the server uh, into the zero degree so it's not moved to a different so because the initial value is zero so I'm just setting that okay now let's talk about what we write in the wide loop okay so the first thing what we need is we need to oh, set a value for PR stat which will be reading the value from the PR sensor so what we are going to do is uh, PR stat equal to digital read uh, the pin number 13 so you can get the value from you know the PR sensor like if the PR sensor uh, detects a motion you will be able to get that value saved into the PR stat so it should be like uh, something like this so it should be like PR stat equal to digital read PR pin okay so uh, if you are given a different value uh, here you, you should change that here as well so now if the motion is detected it will give the PR stat as one if not it should be a zero so based on that now we can write the remaining code so what we have to do is now we have to check the value so PR stat right so what we will do is if statement so if PR stat equal to high then we can uh, define like if there is a motion detected and then we can make some action uh, on the LED and also on the servo motor so let me write the full code so you should be able to see it so let me explain you what we are doing so what we are trying to do is if the PR stat is high what we'll do is we'll do a digital write LED pin as high so that means that pin number 12 become high and the LED will be lit and I'm also printing like serial monitor pro motion detected and for uh, controlling the servo motor it's not mandatory that you have to use the POS uh, for loop uh, you can use just uh, servo uh, my server dot write to 180 so by default it will switch to 180 degree so like uh, the door is open but you know I would like to have go this like a slow opening it's not like a sudden opening from 0 to 180 so for that I will use a for loop so you can use for uh, 180 uh, and each uh, one you know um, it's taking a loop of one so it will open slowly from 0 to 180 and I'm giving a delay of 20 degrees uh, 20 is millisecond and you know then you know once after 20 millisecond it will uh, what we'll do is we will do a LED low so we are digitally writing the pin number 2 as low and also at the same way like we are trying to change from 180 to uh, 0 so it like uh, decrem decrementing the value so it has opened the door and now it's trying to close it so again you know you can write directly to one uh, you know, zero here so but it will be like a hard sh sh closing of the door very fast right so I want to go with like a small smooth way so you have to do it uh, in using a for loop so it's a pretty simple uh, you know uh, process so that's all uh, here what we are doing okay so if there is no movement is detected it will not do anything it will just uh, it will not take any action so this will only happen like if you can change the delay depending upon your need like if you want to open the door for some more uh, longer period you can increase the delay and you know you can close it based on that so if I go back now and start the simulation and if I click on uh, the PR sensor and if I move it you can see the uh, servo motor is moving and then just closing out right so if you have connected this motor into some door or opening something you know it will be opening uh, slowly like you know you can see the motion if you want to increase the speed you can use it, or if you want to make it slow depending upon the for loop you should be able to do it so it's uh, pretty simple and you can see also the LED is lit so if you want to make the lights uh, turn on when there is a motion detected you can uh, do that also along with the um, opening of the door so it's a pretty simple project and I will uh, share this code and the diagram in the uh, my github location so you can go there and have a look and you can also download the code and you can make use of that as well so that is all for this tutorial I hope uh, it's an informative tutorial for you and I would request you to click on the subscribe button for watching more videos and also click on the bell icon 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग